Next stitch is a continuous chain of linked horizontal mattress sutures where each needle is attached to two sutures. This design allows for a dramatic reduction in the number of needle passes, creating fewer needle punctures to the annulus. This enables exact approximation of adjacent sutures by placing two sutures with a single needle pass, eliminating the risk of damaging a suture with an adjacent needle. Remove the next stitch suture holder from the pouch and unfold lid to expose needles, tucking lid around to make a handle. Hold the package on the handle extension. Holding the package elsewhere may prevent suture deployment. Deploy the first suture by arming the single-stranded needle from either the right or left side of the package and release suture. For pledgeted suture, pull on the suture until the pledget is released. The assistant should ensure the remainder of the suture strand is released without deploying the next needle. When working with neck stitch, it is essential to keep the pack in front of the suture so tangling does not occur. Assuming you place your first suture at 12 o'clock, pass the needle through the valve annulus. For pledgeted suture, pull up on the suture until the pledget is properly seated on the annulus. Forceps may be needed to ensure pledget seats appropriately. After the second needle pass, move the pack to 6 o'clock. Ensure suture is even before continuing with the next stitch sequence. Next stitch may be started at any point on the annulus. This scenario was used to describe pack movement. If you are using pledgeted suture, Push the pledget back halfway towards the next stitch pack, starting with the passage of the second needle. Do this consecutively after each pass. This technique will ensure proper placement of the pledget on the next pass. Complete suturing around the annulus. Organizing the sutures is routinely done, although you will find it is no longer necessary to separate colors, as two colors now share one needle. At pack transition, Care must be taken to place the first stitch in close proximity to the last stitch from the previous pack. If you are using more than one pack and working around the valve circumferentially, start with the same side of the pack that was deployed in the first pack. Place the needle in close proximity to the last stitch placed, then complete the steps previously mentioned. If suturing is completed using only a portion of a suture pack, cut the suture after the last required needle. The last needle must be placed in close proximity to the first stitch placed. This is the same as would traditionally be done with a conventional technique. With the identical sequence, pass the needles through the sewing ring of the prosthetic valve, utilizing similar spacing of the suture, about three to four millimeters as performed with the annulus. Continue to stitch around the valve until all the sutures are in place. Some surgeons have found it helpful to count pledgets rather than needles when calculating appropriate spacing on the valve prosthesis as the needles of next stitch are shared with adjacent sutures. Properly seat valve in the valve annulus. Cut off the needles from the suture and tie light colors together. White to adjacent white, green to adjacent green, and co-braid to adjacent co-braid. 